so now when we have um, got the OPC server up and running, we now need to configure a little bit in the compact HMI to get the data into the HMI application. So we open up the Plant Explorer. And it's from here you can configure how the data, which data you would like to receive into the HMI application. So what we are doing now is just a small test case to show how you can make sure that you have the whole communication chain all the way from the controller up into the HMI application running. So we go to the control structure, we drill down to the IT server, PLC Connect, OPC servers, and the AC800M OPC server. And here we create a new object. We take a PLC short, as we have a double integer in the controller. We call it uh, T5, T6. And we make create. <coughs> and then we, for this object, we click on the confi signal configuration aspect. We click connected. We browse. And in the browse window, we can see the uh, contents of the OPC server, we browse down, in this case I browse down to my motor and I select the speed. And I close the window and make apply. After this, you've made the configuration and now I need to uh, uh, make this configuration move into the runtime part of the uh, real-time database. So I go to the PLC Connect Servers object, select the deploy aspect and press the deploy button. So now we are moving the configuration data into the real-time database and it will start executing. And to check that everything is working okay, I, I click on my T6 object and the integer PCA aspect and I click subscribe for live data. And here I can see how the value is changing according to what the value is changing in the controller. So now we have the basic setup of the compact HMI ready.